Pennsylvania, standing in front of Miller's Smorgasbord and a noisy highway. Now this place has been here since 1929 and it started out with Anna Miller doing chicken and waffles while her husband worked on the trucks. So we're about ready to head in here and check this place out because you guys have been wanting us to come. We got some comments of people that wanted to see us do this place. So we're about ready to head in. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Let's check out the menu here at Miller's. Not much to check out on it because it's a traditional smorgasbord dinner only. That's all they have. Strictly buffet. It's $25.49 for adults, 13 and over. And kids, $9.99 for 10 to 12 and $6.99 to 4 to 9. Free for under 3. So there you go. Or you guys can get the soup salad and bread smorgasbord which is 11.99 before four o'clock 14.99 after four o'clock and on the weekends and if you want to add shrimp and appetizer station it's 6.99 more or just desserts it's 5.99 more and your beverages for 2.49 so that all right guys let's start out at the soups and breads we got here some biscuits, some rolls. Looks like what do you think that is, Bobby? Cinnamon bread, maybe? I'm not real sure. What is that? We got some different soups. They got right here is ham and bean soup. Oh yeah. Potato soup. Let me see. Potato soup. Oh, it tells you up top. Just noticed that. Vegetable chili. Vegetable Seafood chili. Disc. Seafood. I might try that. Chicken corn soup. Sausage and cabbage. I'll try that. And then sausage and cabbage. Oh, here it tells you. Iced raisin bread. Here you go, guys. I was on the wrong side. Iced raisin bread. Potato rolls. Ciabatta. Is there? Oh, we have. I can kind of see it. Sweet and sour red cabbage. Yes. Saute kale. Grilled vegetables. That looks pretty good. I bet your mom you can get some of that. Easy like that. We got over here. Looks like they can make the waffles over here. The chicken and the waffles. There's the sign we were telling you about. 1929. Here we have some hot entrees. Let's check them out. Some beef gravy, turkey gravy, mashed potatoes, and some stuffing. And some stewed tomatoes. We'll go on the other side and look. There's macaroni and cheese. Buttered cod. That looks good. Corn. And look at that chicken. That chicken looks awesome. Some carrots over there. We can go over here and see what we got over here. Potato stuffing is what that is. Ham, green beans, and potatoes. Baked cabbage and carrots. We got a carving station in here. We got here. How you doing? Some roast beef, some ham, and turkey breast. Some 
cranberry sauce and some horseradish. And get that broccoli salad. What's that over there? That's just like a mixture. I have to go around there and see. There's your seafood salad. There's some pickled, pickled eggs. Pickled eggs. Beef. Fruit salad. Dill pickles. Turkey salad. And coleslaw. We have french fries. There's some more chicken over here. There's peas on this one. Peas and green beans. We've got some chicken and dumplings. Brown buttered noodles. There's some more stuffing. Looks like some roast beef. The section's closed down, but this place is huge, isn't it, Bobby? Gigantic. That's dill potato salad. And this is chow chow. Here's the shrimp. Look at this. Here's your cocktail sauce. Seasoned shrimp. Boy, no, that looks good. Tartar sauce. Plain shrimp. Mustard. Lemons. Cream cheese with jam and cheddar cheese. There's some Swedish meatballs and marinated, marinated mushrooms. I won't be getting that. Here's a salad bar. Here's our favorite dressing. There's the hot bacon Bacon's dressing. Missing. Let's get down through here. We got some spinach, cheese, tomatoes, some mushroom, cucumbers, garbanzos, olives, onions, eggs. That's like a Caesar's. Already got the Caesar's dressing in it. And some apple butter, cottage cheese. There's all your different dressings on that. Balsamic vinaigrette, also. And you can see more places to sit. The fireplace. Let's go check out the dessert station. Let's see what we have. There's cherry crumb pie, peach crumb pie, chocolate peanut butter cake, there's some no sugar, cherry pie, blueberry crumb cake, and chocolate pecan pie. Gourmet apple, and there it is guys, shoe fly pie. Some brownies, baked apples, Red pudding. And I collect there's a bunch of cheesecakes over here. Cheesecakes. And what's this? Chocolate mousse cheesecake. There's some toppings, strawberry, blueberry, and cherry. And there. Ambrosia. Cracker pudding. Some mandarin oranges back there. Some sugar-free jello, applesauce, fruit salad, and cool whip. I think I got this. Yeah. Maybe bread pudding. I already got it. That's it. There's the whole thing. All the way around. Okay. Okay, guys. Made our first trip through. 
I got some of this shrimp and it's really dark in here so I don't know how else is all going to show up. Ham, got some noodles, a Swedish meatball, and some cod. Bobby wanted to start off with the salad and with the hot bacon dressing. Hot, hot bacon dressing. It's best to get it when it's hot too. Once it gets cold, it's not as good. Got a little bit of cheese, cucumbers, you can see the cucumbers. Oh, a, yeah, that's a great good. variety of that's different good stuff size. to put on your salad, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, they did. So. This is bigger than what I remember. <laughs> Not to like warm bacon grease <laughs> on your salad. It's just a different flavor. I mean... Yeah, we didn't think we would like it the yeah. first time we tried it. We I mean, it's kind of sweet a little bit too, isn't it? Yeah, it is a little sweet. But like I said, you want to get it when it's hot, and it is hot up there. Because once it gets cold, it's not as good. John never starts off with a salad, no. but I have to have one. Guys, you're at a buffet. You're spending 25 bucks. Why fill up on a salad? Who's with me on that? I always say that. I used to tell Bobby she couldn't get a salad at these You did. Days. Okay, let's try off with a buttered cod. Buttered cod? Yeah, buttered cod. It's good. I mean, they uh, just melt in your mouth, just fall apart. I mean, it's flaky. Look. Yeah, it looks flaky. Um, the butter, the seasoning in it tastes good. I mean, it's not a real strong fish taste. I like it. It tastes great. It tastes better than Long John Silver's cod. Try these, uh, there's a Swedish meatball. Look, there's gonna get more, but you can't get very many because there's too much stuff up there to try. Yeah, you want to try a little bit of everything. Yeah, try a little bit. There's what we want shrimp. Look at that. Shrimp is good here. Mm. That gravy, whatever's on there, it's thick, it has a nice flavor. Meatballs done well, you kind of see it. Tastes good. Oh, I forgot I got this. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, seafood salad. So I thought I'd sample a little bit of seafood salad. Here we go. It's good. Nothing real, um, nothing real special about it. But it has a good flavor to it. It's all imitation. There's probably no real crab meat or stuff in there. Had to get some noodles. Amish country, like you usually get them like an egg noodles. It's a little different with the bow tie. Yeah, it's ties. like a bow tie one. Mm -hmm. I like the other ones better, I think. These aren't real warm, I will say that. They have, I mean, they have a nice taste to them, but they're not real warm. But I do like the other egg noodles better than those. But they still taste good. And ham. I love ham, so I'm going to cut this with a fork. That's a pretty nice size piece of, a knife. of ham. It's easier. Yeah, that's carving station. Ham's flavorful. It doesn't have a real salty taste to it. It's not, I mean, it's, it's warm, but it's not overly warm. But I, it tastes good. Had better, but it's still, it's, it tastes, um, it's, it's good. Here we go. Peel on this. Shrimp. I like shrimp. So, peel it off. I don't like it because you have to peel it. It's yeah, too it much some, work. We'll be in here a while while <laughs> I eat all these. Well, without the dip first. Good. I mean, uh, it tastes fresh. I'm sure they're frozen and they've unthawed in there, but they have a good taste to them. So it's definitely good. Oh, I had to get a pickle. I saw something I over there. I get some pickles. I like pickles. Pickle tastes nice. I mean, it's a uh, steel, steel pickle. Nice flavor.
Bobby went up and got some soup. What kind did you get, Bobby? This is cabbage and sausage. They had different ones, and um, this one smelled the best to me. Okay. Like a little bit of... Got a big piece of sausage in yeah, there. Yeah, see that sausage? All right, try that. Try with I'm a fan of cabbage. Okay. So I'm going to try cabbage. Better you eat that than me, because mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't get that. It's got good flavors. It's like a tomato-based sauce, red sauce. Got any spice to it? No, it's not real spicy like you think it would be. The cabbage is soft. I'm going to try that sausage. It's a good mixture together, the cabbage and the sausage. I think there's a bunch more flavors up there to try. There was, but when I walked past this one, I could smell the flavors. I thought, that's the one I got to get. All right. Round two, guys. See, I got some more shrimp. It's got a little bit of macaroni and cheese. This was called beef burgundy. I can't remember what I called it when I saw it up there. I said chicken and dumplings. This is actually chicken pot pie. And this place started with chicken and waffles, so I had to get a big old piece of fried chicken. Here's Bobby got. I got the roasted turkey. Yeah, they carved the that carving. off for you. What else you got there? Um, mashed potatoes, and these are supposed to be real. I got brown gravy, macaroni and cheese, sautéed mushrooms, cranberry salad, and my carrots. All right, tear into something. I'm trying the turkey. It's juicy. Is it juicy? Mm -hmm. Real tender. And I asked him for a small piece. He probably could have got bigger, but I told him just give me a small piece because I'm going to waste try it. a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And a cranberry salad. Got to have cranberry salad with turkey. Real cranberries too. It's not real sweet or tart. It's I mean it's just perfect. There's the real mashed potatoes. I like mashed potatoes, guys, but I will not get them here because they will fill me up. I just got a small dab. <laughs> There's a real they're creamy. Macaroni and cheese. Cheesy. It's the spiral kind. I think it had some breadcrumbs on the top of yeah, it. Yeah, I saw them. I saw and the breadcrumbs. I'll try the saute mushrooms. Yep. You have all you want of those. I don't like mushrooms, guys. So I will never get those. And you know, I like I like mushrooms. I don't know if they saute those in. It's a strong flavor. I don't think I like those. Don't like them? Okay. No. What about the carrots? I do like the carrots, but I don't know what's on those mushrooms. Those are disappointing. <laughs> okay, guys. We got two. It's busted open. It's, kind of, it's crispy. I'm going to try it by itself. It's got a good flavor. A nice crunch to it. Nice. Now it's not overly hot. It's warm, but it's not overly hot. So they had bigger pieces up there. And I didn't want to get them because I wanted to keep eating this other stuff. Oh, well, they're not real busy today. No. So you don't know how long it's mm -hmm. been setting to keep it warm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And once more people come, get fresher. Not that it's not fresh, but it would be no. warmer. I just didn't put it out. Yeah. But it still tastes all right. Chicken, got a good flavor to it. I mean, it's good chicken. I mean, I've had better. And you guys know I like Gus's chicken. Gus's chicken's better than this. You can't Pretty compare decent. Gus's can't compare to anything. Gus's. <laughs> but it's not bad. I wish it could be a little warmer. Chicken pot pie. Lost your noodles. It, uh, <laughs> I thought it was chicken and dumplings. <clears throat> well, 
I like that. Kind of a mixture of a chicken noodle soup. Except with bigger noodles in it. I didn't see any chicken pot pie. I always think of a pot pie with bacon you know, yeah. crust around it. I didn't see any crust in this, but that's what the thing said it was. Yeah. But the noodles and the chicken taste right, it tastes good, it tastes fresh. And this was called beef burgundy. I think I might have too big of a piece here. Got a lot of salt. It tastes a lot, a lot of salt. salt in it. I mean, I like it, but probably not something I would get again. But it's, it tastes all right. A lot of salt. Just lot too, of salt, too yeah. much salt. Too much okay. salt. One thing I said earlier, guys, that I was wrong about, I called that chicken and dumplings. That says chicken pot pie. Now you saw me just try it, and I, I think it's great, but that's what the sign says. Just one more look. There's some uh, Harvard beets in there, but I wanted to show you this. I missed this the first time around. We have some grilled vegetables and some baked chicken. Well, we've eaten about all we could eat, so now it's time for dessert. Guys, you know me, had to get some shoe fly pie, chocolate mousse cheesecake, and Bobby got a baked apple with some ice cream. And this ice cream is no ordinary ice cream, it's Turkey Hill. Turkey Hill, right here from Lancaster. Or Lancaster, however you want to pronounce it. Yeah. That ice cream, you really have to try that. It's just got a really good flavor to it. And that's vanilla. We can get chocolate, I think. Chocolate and vanilla. Yeah, so I'm going to try this apple. Do you uh, want any coffee or hot tea? No, no. I'm good. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. So I put some ice cream on it. It's like a apple pie without the crust. There's that cinnamon in there on those apples. And there's like a little bit of syrup that you can put over top of it. What they baked in, you know, with like yeah. probably brown sugar and cinnamon. I like that. Uh, it looks pretty, looks, uh, it looks appetizing. Let's put it, it that way. Uh, these two, especially that, it's going to be rich. But I'm ready to try this. Okay, shoe fly pie. Shoe fly pie. Amish country. Said it before many times in the other videos. Got to get you flat. Now, could you eat ice cream on that or no? Could have. I didn't want to. I just like it too good. Yeah, I just wonder. Well, I mean, I wonder how it would be with it on there, or it would take away from your pie. It's great. It's warm. Most time I get it, it's cold. This time it was warm. They had it in there heating it up. Uh huh. Which way you so like that it better? Molasses. Yeah, that molasses. I don't know. I almost like it better warm. Mm -hmm. It's got a different flavor to it. Warm. I like it. I mean, I like it anyway, but that's, that's different. So I'm going to try this chocolate mousse. It's not bad. I'll taste it. I can't really taste the chocolate. I don't want to taste the cheesecake over the chocolate mousse on top. Uh -huh. It's hard for me to try that when I like this stuff so well. Yeah. That's good. But shoe fly pie, man, if you're coming here. It's always what you would what, get. I'm going to get it here in Amish country. It's a lot of other desserts up there, but I don't have any room to try them all. Or try the baked apple with the ice cream. That apple is really soft. It's baked you know, clear through. It's really soft, it's not hard at all. Okay guys, here is the bill at Miller's Smorgasbord. Two buffets, $25.49. We have the $3 off coupons, which we pulled up on the internet. So if you come here, look for that. So grand total of $47.68. But well, when you walk in here into Miller's, you can see off to the right, they have a 
little gift shop. Over there. And let's see what else they have. Have some shirts. After you exit Miller's, you come this way. You got a winery and gift shop. And you have your locally made food shop up there. That's where you can get like the dressings. How you doing, Santa? What are you doing up here? All right, just filming you. How you guys doing? Yeah, what's going on? Happy All right. All right. A lot of Santas going in there. They have uh, all kind of stuff in there, don't they? they have pies and stuff in there for sale. Whoopie pies, uh, jellies, and over here you have quilt shop. So even though you're done eating, you can still spend some more money here. Well guys, we just came out of Miller's and I'm gonna ask Bobby what she thought of it. Well, first of all, I want to say it was super cool that we saw a hundred and fifty oh. different yeah. Santas. Going to be, yes, they're having a, yeah, they're having a uh, festival here. They're going to be at Dutch Wonderland on Saturday, and we just kept seeing them come. I have no idea, <laughs> so we had to stop and ask them what was going on. But how cool is that? That's that pretty neat. Cool. So this is where they do it. They said they've been doing it about ten years. I like Mrs. Claus's boots as she was walking <laughs> by. Those are really cool. Well, some of these vehicles out here, <laughs> out here, uh, have antlers on them and stuff. They got sea claws on the license plates, so. Probably be fun to go in there right now and eat. Yeah, it would be. But um, the restaurant is very clean. I noticed a lot of the people working there were making sure there was no food on the sides of the oh, they were. buffets. And our waitress, she was excellent. She filled her glasses up, I think, before they were even half full. Yeah, I never, I never got half full before she and was at the table. The food was very good. Um, the only bad thing I would have to say is I can't eat $25 worth of food at one time. I wish they still just had a single meal that you could get. Yeah. But I mean, the buffet had everything that you would want. It's just it's just a lot of food at one time. Some people can't eat that much. Well, I, I mean, we called them and asked them. They said COVID kind of took away the the menu. They used to have some uh, was a pork barbecue sandwiches and hamburgers, and they were all good. But yeah, even I probably can't eat twenty five dollars <laughs> worth. I thought everything was good. The only thing, a bad thing, we came in at like uh, what two thirty. Yes. So a lot of that food probably might have been, wasn't real busy, might have been sitting there. So the, some of the food wasn't piping hot. It was all good. Yeah, it was the all good. The quality is, is excellent, but it wasn't piping hot. Now, now probably if you went in, we're getting busier, we're going to have more turnover and the food will come out uh, a little warmer for yeah. each time. But, but with 150 different Santas, we yeah. may not have any food left. <laughs> no, so probably not. Probably not. Probably, probably not. probably not. But I'm going to agree with Bobby. $25 I don't know I mean uh, I could eat I can eat a lot of shrimp but I can eat $25 worth so that might hurt them so I hope Miller's maybe brings that back I don't know the situation but I think that's going don't you think don't you think that's going to hurt them in the long run because a lot of people are not going to pay $25 to go in there but we'll say again it's definitely the quality of the food is definitely worth it we've always liked this place yeah. we've been coming here for years the prices have kind of gone up and uh, I think a lot of their their uh, vegetables maybe come from the local oh yeah farmers, right? wanted to say that like these farms behind us I heard that they get their stuff from these farms that surround the restaurants so it's definitely fresh but we hope they make it because we do like it it's been here for what 92 years, 92 years I think what it said. so if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe yeah so until we meet again J&B have, have left, left the building, building.